Okay, so the last video that I'm going to do is for the front end. The, the front end or the app itself um, is going to be what the uh, work order looks like and what the purchase order looks like. So I can click on documents here and I can view uh, my work order, my purchase order, or as many of you know, I can just view the image. So if I plan on utilizing this as just a rendering program. I don't plan on doing any proposals with it. Uh, don't really plan on doing any work orders or purchase orders with it. Um, you never need to upgrade to the pro option. You can just stick with the free version all day long and simply utilize this, create your layout, view your image, share your image with whoever you want. However, um, you may utilize the other features. So let me go into project documents. We'll click on the documents here. I want you to see the work order. So what, is a, what does a work order look like? How does it look different than the proposal? All right, so the work order doesn't show pricing because the, you know our crew doesn't need to see pricing. The work order is for the team, it's for the install team. So they don't need to see pricing but they need to see all the specifics. So this is what we have. We've got the organics bamboo with the five watt MR16, 30 degree, and we use blue in that one. Oh, and then we happen to use, and we have risers and a hex louver. Uh, but for this one, we use the four watt, 120 degree beam, uh, or green LED. And then I break down exactly what LEDs I have uh, in the path lights, you can see that I used a warm white adjustable aqua beam, the couple of light tech transformers, and then warm white Lumion micro blast floodlights. Okay. And then my notes also uh, end up in the work order too. Okay. Then in my work order images, it shows the SKUs so that I can take that. I can take that skew and then go down here and see if there are any notes or any accessories. So, I mean, this is a really, really nice and detailed uh, layout for your crew. Again, this, this can be utilized as a true as-built program. So we've got the, the breakdown for the front image and the breakdown for the satellite image, which again, I think this work order is super cool. So uh, that work order, this is what you see. And then this is what you see when I go into a purchase order. Just gives me a general idea of what my cost is for all of those products. So you can see the cost here is what this fixture would cost with this LED inside of it and this riser and this hex louver. So it combined the pricing for all of those items and stuck it into one. So that would be the cost there. That's the cost for this item. This is the cost for my three uh, traditional path lights with the Brilliance two watt beacons inside of it. Um, cost for my true audio speakers. This gives me a good idea of what my costs are. And then I pay sales tax. So this is what my sales tax charge is. So, so now I can get a really good idea of what my project costs are. Um, so I've got 3,100 in product here. And then I think my total combined proposal was like seven grand. So what, what was that? So obviously, I didn't charge enough labor. Yeah, 7,400. I didn't charge enough. That's fine. You guys can charge more. But the proposal, um, or I'm sorry, the PO is really cool. It's a really easy way for you to see what, uh, what your costs are. And what I think we're going to do is turn this into an Excel uh, file so that you can actually edit this. Um, and you can add, you can add products, you can delete products and send that out to your supplier based on some edits that you may want to make. Maybe you don't want to buy 
two or bamboo spotlights maybe you want to buy 10 uh organics bamboo spotlights uh and have have some left in inventory so i think we're going to make this into an xl right now it's just a pdf and mainly meant to give you a good idea of what your costs are 